few days maximum. It's easier if I'm not here to get in the way. I don't know. I I'm thinking maybe an orange or a leafy green. Anything to cover this old beige, really. Well, how is green cold? Trees are green. You have green in the front room. You don't need to fuss. I can, I can pick something up from Tesco's on the way if you want. Yeah, hang on one sec. Let me grab a pen because otherwise I'll forget. OK, right, go. Milk and eggs. Mum, I don't need a special cereal. Hello? Hello, is that Lily? It's Jip. I'm here for your decorating group. Mum, I've got to go. I'll call you back, OK? Love you. Hey, sorry, I was on the phone with my mum. Oh, do you want me to wait a second? No, no, honestly, come in. Uh, shall I take my shoes off? Uh, no, no, don't worry. Come on in. Um, do you want a cup of tea? Uh, yeah, that would be lovely, thank you. Oh, you weren't kidding about the ceiling. They're so high in these old buildings. <sighs> yeah, I know. It's kind of why I don't want to attempt it myself. No good with heights. How do you take your tea? Milk and sugar, thank you. That's that's very kind. Yeah, I mean, do you think? Look around. It's a nice big studio, isn't it? Did you want me to do the ceiling? Yeah, please, if you can. I mean, I doubt it's been done since the 90s. Uh, what about all of this, all of this gloss? Did you want the gloss doing as well, or is it is it just the walls and, and the ceiling? Yeah, I mean, if we can, I want to cover everything. Possible. Okay, well we could do a we could do a matte emulsion over the walls which will cover any of those little marks and cracks unless had you thought about papering? Yeah, I had considered it, but I don't know, something about it makes it feel like I'm putting a plaster over an old wound, you know? I don't know. I just think something about painting it will make it feel like my own. Yeah, I can understand that. Uh, what are we thinking about colours? If you've got any ideas, I've got books and samples on the van. Um so yeah, that's what I was just talking to Mum about. I'm thinking like an orange or a nice green. I mean, Mum says green's cold, but I don't know, I've always liked green ever since I was little, so. Is this you when you were little? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's my fifth birthday. Um, um, that's my first day of school. Um, that's my boyfriend. Sorry, can, can I ask who that is? That's my mum from about eight or nine years ago. That's your mum? Yeah. Uh, Julia? Yeah. Julia Brown. What, you know her? I did. A long time ago I did. It's, um, it's been about 20 years since I saw her last. Julia Brown. Actually, we, uh, we dated when we were in, when we were in college. That's weird, isn't it? I'm so sorry. Uh, no, 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 that's just fine. What about your dad? I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I just never really knew my dad. Again, look, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm sticking my nose in. Shall I just do a measure and, and, and I'll be gone? What did you say your name was? Jip? Yeah, well, it's, it's Joseph, but everyone calls me Jip. Dad said that I gave him Jip and, and, and then it just, it just stuck. Sorry, can we sit down? Yeah, yeah, of course. Are you OK? Right, so, sorry, 20 years ago, you knew my mum while you went out in college? Yeah. And what, you just went on a few dates or...? No, it was quite serious for a while. It would have been about a year whilst we were doing our A-levels. Right, this is going to sound uh, mental. Um, but obviously I didn't know my dad, right? And to be honest, I didn't, didn't really know what a dad was until I went to school and then people started talking about their dads and asking me where mine was. And, and so I started asking my mum, like, well, where's my dad? Like, what happened to him? And, like, all the other girls have their dads. Where, where's mine? And, and then I just started asking that question, like, who is he? What's his name? What does he do? Where is he now? Months and months and months, weeks, like, bombarding her with the same questions. And she, she didn't budge. I all didn't say anything. And then, so one day I just went up to the loft. Um, there, it has one of those doors where you can pull it up and you pull the... the um, ladder back up into it and I just took myself into a corner and I could, I could hear her shouting my name downstairs and then she started really panicking um, and shouting and she called the police and she was crying and shouting again and I don't know I just remember not caring and I remember thinking well now you know what it's like to not have your family I know it's flawed logic obviously but I was six and um 
finally it started to get dark and I could hear Grandma and Grandad downstairs because they were trying to console her and they were talking about kidnapping and I, I, couldn't, I couldn't bear to hear her cry anymore. So I walked down the stairs and I remember walking down those stairs and I looked at her and her face was so red and puffy. And I just went, where is my dad? And then she, um, she held me and was crying and was like, Joseph, Joseph's your dad and he, he's a painter. <laughs> And, and I don't remember, she probably told me off as well, but I don't remember anything else but the name and the fact that he was a painter, which I feel like is an odd detail to throw in. And then I never asked her about it again. Yeah, I think the whole thing kind of traumatised me, <laughs> to be honest. Say something, Jip. OK, yeah, can we, let's just, let's slow down a minute. Um... When we broke up, your, your mum and I, it was her that ended it, OK? She, she didn't say anything and, and, and we hadn't been arguing. We were, we were just walking home from college. I could kind of feel it in her hand. You know, it felt colder, like, like holding the hand of a stranger or something. And she'd been weird all day, actually. She, she didn't smile at me or, or even really look at me. It was not, not like Julia at all, you know? So do, do you think that... I, I just, I don't, I don't know why she wouldn't want me to be there for her. I'd have done anything for her. I'd have, I'd have painted the moon if she had asked. I don't know, she, she was 16, 17, she's probably scared. Listen, can I, can I take a photo and send it to my mum just to make sure I'm not being mental? Yeah, sure. Do you, do you think it's a good idea, though? You don't think she's going to be upset? I don't know, but it feels right. Okay. Yeah. So the correct? Is that right? Yeah, it looks really good. Nice. You know, it is... It kind of makes some sort of sense. Your mum, she, she didn't want me to see her ever again after that day. She, she dropped out of college and she didn't call or, or text. Actually, I'd... I'd left some stuff up at her parents' house and, and she didn't want to be there to give it back to me, so I just had to go up and face um, um, Pam and Roy uh, on my own and they were, they were really different too. I think, I guess maybe, maybe they blamed me for, for, for ruining their daughter or something. Oh no, he didn't ruin anything. Like, <laughs> this is a lot, okay? It is, it, 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 it is a lot. Um, you know, I did, I did think it was strange when I saw your, your name on the email. It was Lillian Brown. Me and my ex-wife, we, uh, we always wanted a daughter. Lily, can, sorry, can I, could I just use your bathroom real quick? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, of Thanks. course, just over there. You okay? Sorry, this, this, this means so much to me. Um, me and my, my ex-wife, we, so we tried three times for a baby. And the, the first two, we, we didn't get past uh, a, a couple of months. But the third one, the third one, we came really close. We'd, um, we'd gotten a room already for, for when she was big enough. I'd, um, I'd gotten a crib. 
and I, I painted this ivy up all of the slats. And then on her walls, I'd done a, a mural all around one side of, of, a, of a forest just turning to autumn with like a, a little castle in the distance. And then, then up on the ceiling, I'd done these, these clouds in the shapes of animals. There's a little fox and a, a rabbit and, and a pony. And we'd, we'd gotten everything ready. We'd prepared, you know, we had it all ready. So it, it should have been okay. Oh, and we, uh, we had a name as well. She was going to be called Lillian. Oh. I think it was, it was September when, when Maggie went into labour. Um, it was late, like, like the, the middle of the night, late. We, um, we got in the car and we drove to the hospital. And then they, they took her in, they ran the tests, they said everything's okay. I can't remember what went wrong exactly. It's in a letter somewhere, but I mean, what, what difference did that make? It's, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't get past that. And Maggie tried to help and, and we tried to make it work, but I just, I, I mean, I, I couldn't. I'm really sorry, Jib, I, I, sorry, I don't really know what to say. It's me, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for I'm just running my mouth. It's just, it's a lot, okay? I, no, 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 you're not. I, that's really awful. And, uh, yeah, I can't imagine going through that. Look, this is mad, and um, I can't think straight. I've got this appointment booked this afternoon. Can I just, could I make a call and, and, and cancel them, and, and then... No, 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 don't worry, don't, you don't have to cancel. It's fine, you can go to them, for sure. Are you sure? I mean, I'll come back straight after, or if you want, we can arrange, we can meet somewhere neutral, we can, we can do whatever you want. Yeah, OK, sure. Oh, you haven't given me a quote. Oh, no, no, please, please, I'll, I'll do it, I'll just do it, what, whatever you need, OK? If you want pony clouds on the ceiling, I'll, I'll, I'll do them, OK? And we can work out the colours and, and whatever you want it to be. Um, you've got my number, right? Yeah. Then please just call and, and like I say, I'll come back. I'll come back later or, or we could go for a walk or, or whatever you want, OK? OK? Sorry, sorry, it's um okay. Bye Lily. See you later.